They look quite spectacular, even though they're small on any diorama, they really add a lot of uh, personality. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and I'll be looking closely at the Thunder Models Crawler 60, or the US Crawler 60. This is actually a Caterpillar 60, 60 meaning 60 horsepower, and it's one of the, um, I don't know if it's the most popular, but it's a fairly popular small tractor from the time. So this was actually in production for um, 12 years or so, and they finished production in the early 30s, but these are still being used throughout the war because they made so many of them, and they're very handy indeed. Now, Caterpill Caterpillar, uh, or actually any tractor, um, kits have been fairly rare until recently, and the Thunder model, amongst uh, a few other brands, have been producing some tractors. Mini Art is the other one, and they've been really interesting. They're actually very complicated, and they look quite spectacular. Even though they're small on any diorama, they really add a lot of um, personality. So let's look inside and see what it's all about. So looking at the box art, you can see pretty much a tractor is an engine on a chassis with some Caterpillar tracks. But there's so many go so much going on here because it's basically an exposed engine that they actually have a lot of bits inside. So this is a much bigger box than you would expect for a tractor that's only going to be this big. So let's see what's in there. All right, so we greeted with a uh, very thick box full of gray plastic parts. And let's have a closer look at one at a time. Actually, I might bring up my blue mat here. This is gonna make things a bit easier to see in contrast. All right, so there's our first sprue. So we've got some framework involved there. Now really the best part of these is the actual detail. You can see, see all those little rivets? It's all these fine details that make these spectacular. The other thing too is there's so many parts because the more individual parts you have, the more detail you have. The problem being is it ends up being quite a complicated build. So you end up with little tiny bits like this. So you need to spend quite a bit of time and care to make sure you don't lose anything. I mean, at this point, when you look at these bits, it is actually very difficult to recognize individual parts. Okay, so there's your first sprue. And then we end up with these. This is pretty much standard in any tractor vehicle that is of so-called high quality. These are the individual track links. So there's three sets of sprue for that. And individual track links add so much. Now the part which is most impressive is the actual links themselves because they have all these fine holes. You see how those holes go all the way through? Super fine, there's my finger there in comparison. Oh, that doesn't look quite in focus, does it? Let's get that a bit better. There we go. All right, so you've got all these side links as well. And there's all your main caterpillar links. Okay, so on the other side, they look a bit flatter. But they're quite chunky, so you'll be able to see these as they go around the curves. And you'll be able to see how they sag over the wheels as well. Very nice. Okay, and then we get into this bit. Again, we have two identical sprue. So this is basically left and right. You've got your drive sprockets, you've got your idler. And various other bits and pieces, there's probably little idlers there as well. Let's get the focus right. You can see just how clean all the parts look on these. The Thunder model are quite good at doing that. They don't have a huge range. They became famous with the Scammel Transporter. That's a really complicated kit too. I have been building uh, one of the Indian motorbikes in 35th scale. Superb kit, very, very complicated for a small motorbike. Those look like cylinders there, don't they? There we go. Okay, so there are those bits there. Just pop those aside over this way. And then we end up with some bigger sprues. What have I done here? This one's not quite open. Do a bit of chop. There we go. 
Easy fix. Alright, some bigger parts. You got some fenders. Big chunky bit of the engine there. And you got the bigger radiator. That's quite pronounced at the front. There we go. So there's the side of the, um, I guess the gearbox is for the, the driving sprockets. Again, you can see just how clean all the detail is. You see little straps and things on these. They look like fenders, I'm guessing. And then let's go into, there's a radiator. See how fine the mesh is on that molded radiator. Okay, so you've got detail from here. So you're gonna have your fan unit sitting in there, and then you've got your exterior part too. So two piece radiator there. Very nice. And then we end up with our last sprue, which is a chunky bit. So it looks like we've got some gearbox bits and other structural parts of the drivetrain and then also the chassis of the, the tractor. Again, you can see all those, so much rivet detail. And it all be brought out with a, a wash and a bit of a dry brush. chunky bits there. And then again you got some really nice some sort of rivets there. Super nice. Beautiful kits. No flash at all either. Okay so once we've got that that's all the plastic. We do have well look at that. It's got photo wedge and some copper wiring as well. See how sharp all that is? So there's the fan blades. So you need to fold those up. See if we can get those out of there. All right, so we've got a small length of enameled copper there. And copper being very soft, it's easy to bend into whatever shape you need. Glue it in place with some super glue. And then we have the photo wedge here. So that's got the tape holding it all together, which is great. Got the actual, does it actually say Caterpillar on it? It does say Caterpillar on it, right there. Fan blades again, and then you've got some panels. So you can see as I bend it, you can see there's rivet detail that's been etched there as well. A few straps, and some controls there. So control levers, just there. How good is it? Photo etch and some wiring as well for added detail. Let's just pop that stuff back into the bag for safety and we'll get onto the manual. All right, so manual is quite big. Well, actually this is the color chart. So that's a, a single leaf. So there's a gray tone. So I give you some big numbers there for the paint codes. And we spin it around, we've got different tones here. So we've got a, a sand, then also a gray green or a field gray, I guess you call that, finish. Very cool, so that big thing there was the tank, fuel tank, it's nice. Okay, so from there we've got the actual assembly instructions, which are really tight inside the box. Here we go. I'll have to zoom that out a bit to get it all fit. Okay, so they've got an explanation of the symbols used during the construction. And then we get straight into it. Okay, so you've got a little bit of history written there. We get straight into the engine. So four cylinder, 60 horsepower. Got engine mounts going on there. Lots of piping going on. So you can see where I, what I mean by how complicated they look because that's all exposed engine. And then from here we start building up the chassis. So you've got the side rails. There's the engine dropping into place with the radiator. Bits and pieces there around the clutch. Then we get into the driver's bay, I think. Yes. So we've got pedals and such going on there. Supports for the fuel tank. You got some push rods and such. And then the fuel tank goes together and just sits on top of this cradle. 
the seat itself that gets assembled, plonks on top of the, the superstructure. We've got the drive mechanism here. And then there's some suspension, I guess, front struts. And then we've got the drive for the actual Caterpillar tracks. So you've got quite a number of uh, idler wheels, your drive sprocket, your idler wheel at the back. This all goes together on the bogey. And then they're attached to the chassis. You've got your tow hook here. And then we start building the tracks. So multi-piece for the hinging. And then you put them all around, you get this nice little sag. And then you have your light. Oh, there's the little lever there, the photo etch. And then you've got these little fender covers here. And that's it. So you've got your legend here with all the bits. And that's actually a lot of parts for this little tractor. But a little tractor that'll look pretty awesome. So there we go. That is my open box review of the Thunder model. US 60, or US Crawler 60, which is a Caterpillar 60 tractor. Really nice, something interesting, and doesn't have any guns on it. So, nice, <clears throat> complicated build too. So if you like building stuff, good choice. So if you like that video, please give me a like below. And if you like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. So thank you for joining me again.